Hi, my name's Jessica Jones and I'm a barrister at Matrix Chambers. Hi, I'm Ed Jones, I'm a solicitor with Hodge Jones and Allen Solicitors. So Jess, what challenges do you feel face practitioners in this area, the area of privacy and criminal records? Well, Ed, I think one of the key challenges uh, is just how interdisciplinary this area is. If you want to help clients with the management of their criminal records, there are various different areas of law that you need to be able to use or at least have regard to in order to make sure that you get the right results for your clients. So we have both have backgrounds in predominantly criminal law and public law. Those are two really important critical areas uh, uh, relating to criminal records. But it's also really crucial and increasingly so for people to take account of private law and the challenges that are possible through that route to protect uh, a client who, who who's having problems as a result of their criminal record. So just to give you one example, uh, let's say, for instance, that you're a criminal lawyer and you have acted for a client who's had a serious allegation made against them, but then the police decide to take no further action. So there hasn't been a conviction. Uh, maybe, or maybe, that, maybe there was a trial and they were acquitted. Um, in that situation, there's no conviction to be disclosed, but if they apply for certain jobs, jobs that require an enhanced criminal record certificate, then non-conviction information can also be disclosed about them. Now, you can use public law tools, and the challenges are addressed in the book, to, to change or alter the information that's disclosed on the criminal record certificate. So let's say you bring that challenge for your client and you're successful. You manage to persuade the police that that non-conviction information shouldn't be disclosed. Great. The criminal record certificate goes to the employer, it doesn't have that information on it, and your client doesn't suffer any harm from it. But let's say, as I think we can all expect will be the case, uh, an, an employer considering prospective candidates does a Google search to see what information is out there about that candidate. And let's say that there were press reports about the allegation that was made against your client or press reports of a trial that ended in an acquittal. The employer is going to see that as soon as they conduct a Google search. So actually all the work that you've done on changing the content of the criminal record certificate is completely undermined by the fact that the information is available on Google. And that's where you need the private law elements that the book discusses, because there may well be routes that you can pursue for a client through search engine delisting and so forth to change the information that is accessible uh, online about, about your client as well. And so I think it's that the need to have regard to all those different areas to provide a holistic service for clients that, that presents a real challenge for practitioners who are trying to get involved in these kinds of cases.